just a few weeks ago I shared a video with you in which I gave you some of the tips that I received as a player and I had really great feedback from that video and I had a lot of questions what are some more drills that you used to do when you played so in this video it is all about advanced volley drills the first drill is a drill that I used to do with Joe Brandy and he actually coached Pete Sampras when Pete won the US Open for the very first time. They used to do this drill all the time. We used to do this drill all the time. This drill, one of the partners takes over the role of the coach, if you will. They're just positioned in a really easy volley position. What the other person is doing, in this case I am doing this, I'm hitting five volleys, first from the middle of the service box. Once I hit those five, I move back to the service line. So I have to volley, probably a little lower. I have to volley up a little bit more. Once you've successfully completed those five, you are now moving totally into no man's land. You hit another five and then you move back to the baseline, which yeah, would you ever hit a volley here? Not necessarily, but it is forcing you to hit really difficult volleys. Oh, and by the way, you're trying to do all of that with just one ball. And if you can, you start at the service line, halfway in the service box, service line, no man's land, baseline, and then you come back in from the baseline, no man's land, service line, middle of the service box, all with one ball. The next drill, right where the camera is, is one player, and of course in all these drills you take in turns, uses five balls and literally drills the balls right at the net player. So it is mostly a doubles drill, and the target for the net player is right here, through the middle of the court, because where the camera is, is the baseline player, and of course the opposite net player would probably be positioned somewhere here. So you want to cut them in two. Next drill, you start in a cross court formation, doesn't matter who feeds, but what you're trying to do is with your volleys and both of you are closing in, you're trying to keep the ball low so that one person has to pop the ball up and on that pop up ball, you're changing direction and you're going to what in a doubles position would be the other net partner. And the reason why I like that move is this person has not been involved in the quick hand volley exchange. A lot of times they're just kind of doing that. And with that change of direction, you catch them off guard. There we go. And then of course the other variation is you can just continue to play the point out cross court just with that one person. So you don't even have to bother about the change of direction, whichever you prefer. Come on. I don't know when I... <laughs> Next one is up downs, meaning you are cross court from your partner. Again, you're always taking turns and they're alternating between a ball to ideally your feet and then a lob. So for you here as the net player, it's a lot of up and back movement. For the baseline player, you work on defense. So you may have to work a lot in just your continental grip to bump the ball up. You may have to switch into a regular drive grip to get the ball down to the feet, but you're still doing it somewhat cooperatively. Next two drills, 
just feel and really working on the basics. So you're very, very close to one another and you literally volley your way across the court and back. So you're working on, obviously, the proper grip, always having your hands in front, racket up, and you're just volleying way in front of you. Last touch drill, if you will. It's approach and volley, but in short court. So one of the players has to work of just literally making the ball bounce here. I'm taking the first ball as an approach shot, and then I'm coming in and I volley. I'm moving back, having to take the next ball that they return as an approach shot again. It's a very gentle, very, very touch feel drill. And you can also alternate a little bit. You can have that one player just roll the ball or just slice the ball, just for you to get used to different spins. And if you do want to watch that video that I mentioned in the very beginning, it is this here.